YouTube, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be showing how to navigate and edit your FL Studio 21 themes. Uh, FL 21 is finally out. I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how you can edit your FL Studio colors. Alright, so first things first, uh, the way you navigate to your themes, if you guys don't already know, is you go to options and now there is a new button for theme settings right here. So you're going to go to theme settings. And so now, as you can see, I have a lot of pre-made themes, but they also have some default ones. Um, some of my personal favorite defaults is this ultra green right here. This is super clean. Uh, I do like the purple too, the Vila. Um, yeah. So before I get into all the settings and explaining it all, I do want to say that I did drop a uh, little theme kit with Global. Um, it's going to be on my B-Stars, and I'm going to give you guys a 20% off promo code uh, YT20. So if you guys use that on BeatStars, you're gonna get 20% off. And uh, yeah, I got over 10 themes, and I'll display these at the end of the video for you guys if you want to see. All right, so now we're gonna go over the basic settings and all these adjustment knobs. Um, so first is going to be the hue knob, which it doesn't do much right now, but the saturation is all the way down. So let's put it to green, which is like this natural color that this is, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to turn this down and as you can see it kind of gives it like a, a hue I guess um, It's going to make the overall like ambient ambient color be green. So the more you turn the saturation up um, The more you're going to see the hue so uh, That's what saturation does it's going to affect uh, the color and so I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not like a professional like photo editor or anything. I kind of just like trial and error and um, yeah, so if I'm not using like the big cool terms, like yeah. Anyway, so then brightness too. Um, this is where a lot of, I get a lot of like FL Skinner vibes. Um, if you do brightness all the way down, I actually like this a lot. <clears throat> the only thing I would recommend guys is do not turn it all the way down because in my experience when you're trying to click in like in here or in the piano roll stuff like that it, it as you can see it gets kind of dark like it's it's really hard to see like the grid lines so in my experience like you're gonna get the same feel but just tick it up just a bit like maybe this much and then you can you can like click in for loops or beats or whatever a little bit easier yeah, I, I really like how the black looks too. And as you can see, there is some white. Uh, if you if you guys want white too, um, which would be, I'm pretty sure if you just went all the way this way, um, that's a little blinding in my opinion, if you're trying to make beats, especially at night. <laughs> so I kind of like this. Um, but yeah, that's the brightness. With the hue and stuff like that too, um, these, I think these three knobs especially, they kind of all like, uh, interact with each other I guess so like you can get a lot of different vibes um, whereas like so if the brightness is down even if your saturation is all the way up you're not really gonna get a hue so th these kind of all work together I don't know I I'm probably not explaining that well but anyway now we're gonna move on to contrast um, as you can see contrast is it's going to darken it a lot but I also have the brightness all the way low right now um, it kind of looks similar to brightness um, but if you turn the brightness up and also the saturation up, you're actually going to get like a lot more of that hue color, uh, I believe. Yeah, see, you can kind of get that green into the into the dark theme if you're feeling that. And then lastly, for the adjustment knobs, it's going to be text. So I actually really like this feature. I'm not sure if it's available on Windows, but I know for Mac. Uh, it obviously works here because I'm on Mac. So if you have this all the way to the right, like I have it, you're gonna have um, your uh, text for your browser, uh, the color that you chose for text, and the less that you do it, uh, it's gonna go more to the default colors of like, you know, FL20 and below. This is like what we're all used to seeing. And then if you go this side, I wouldn't recommend this, but it, I guess if you have your brightness up maybe, uh, you can have a, uh, have a black browser, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I personally really like it all the way to the right, and then you guys can choose the text color. I think that's a super dope feature. And then so down here, these two option modes, light mode. 
so as you if you look at this right here like some of this stuff um, so on and off so it's just gonna like highlight certain things I personally just always put it on I think it's easier to see um, and then audio and automation clips use no colors um, that's kind of like speaks for itself but yeah anyway so now we're gonna go on to the color selection stuff so obviously this is gonna be text um, so as you can see every in this one I made this is actually Electra X colors um, I made the text orange and everything else blue and so you can see this is it, I'd say it text affects the most what I'd recommend if you're doing themes too is try and get like certain colorways or patterns I use like team colors like I have a Celtics one here um, and I got the gold for this which is pretty cool so then you have meter which is actually like when you play sound I don't have anything but when you play sound it'll this is like what the low volumes will look like this is what high volumes will look like and that'll show up right here pretty cool uh, and then steps is going to uh, be this channel rack obviously so you guys can mess around with that uh, options okay so this is getting into the stuff I don't really know I think highlight too is one of these I'm, I'm, I'm sure one of them is these blues too like selection would be uh, these dots all right, one thing I did forget to mention is this RRUGBB value. I think it's called a uh, hex color value. Um, and so the way I actually find specific colors, for example, like for Electra X, I actually went into Electra X and found the colors, is I'm sure Windows has some sort of substitute, but on Mac, if you look up digital color meter and finder, um, you can go ahead and pretty much find any color on your screen. So, for example, I did a Celtics theme, and so what you can do is you can take this, so this is 15, 1, 14, 56. Um, you can either screenshot it or just remember it, and then there's plenty online, like this one is just uh, default on my browser, but you can look up RGB to hex color, blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of them, and what you're gonna do is put in the colors, and so I already did this one earlier, and you're gonna get your um, hex color so if I copy this copy and then I head into here and I go here and then I delete this and paste it should be that green that you uh, had had, uh, had looked for earlier so uh, that's gonna be the hex color feature um, I found this uh, super helpful just when I wanted something super specific but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it guys uh, super quick video super simple uh, I've seen a lot of producers that have FL21 and they haven't uh, utilized this yet. I don't know if you guys like the default that very much, but I've been making beats for like so many years and I've been wanting this feature for so long. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys watched this far in the video, make sure you guys just like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, more videos on the way. Uh, peace.